Hallo? Ist jemand da? Another person. Uh, ich bin hier. Wo bist du? Sicher hier. In meinem Käfig. Ja, oh, poor sap. Stuck in here as a prisoner of war. Ich kann es hören. Ich kann es hören. Halten Sie den Mund. Es kommt. Bitte. Nein. Bitte. Nein. Scheiße. Imagine this. You're a soldier trapped within your bunker with an intimidating force pursuing you at all times. The only people you've seen thus far have been decimated, burned, or taken right before your eyes. After looking around for a while, all you can hear is this. Hello? Is someone there? It's another person, but you can't understand them. This is Prisoner 73014, otherwise known as Carl Springer, a German soldier of unknown rank as it was ripped off before he was captured. Leading a higher ranking French soldier, Major Sergeant Delpy, to believe Springer was a German VIP of sorts, valuable for information. This explains why Springer is trapped within the bunker alongside yourself. I wanted to play through Amnesia the Bunker because they apparently came out with a new game plus mode after completing the game. The issue is, when this video was created, I had yet to finish the game. Despite that, I was heavily interested in this segment, as even though Henry and Springer don't understand each other through a common spoken language, Henry can understand how Springer is feeling through his fear. Although a minor character, Springer does something really interesting for the game and brings up an important dilemma. You see, he has a pair of bolt cutters within his cell, needed to pursue further into the game. The issue is, you need to open up Springer's cell to get them exposing him to the beast and creating a lot of noise in the process. There is no way for him to survive unless Henri intervenes. Are you willing to put yourself at risk and use up resources to save your enemy in this war? Or are you going to leave him to his demise and get the bolt cutters after the beast finishes him off? For all you know, he's the only survivor left in this hellhole aside from yourself, and you know he's scared out of his mind. A little side note, the voice actor did an amazing job portraying the soldier in immense fear, and I can greatly appreciate the amount of effort into his screams of terror, so much so that I can feel very sympathetic towards him. Back to the main topic, Carl Springer is so much more than just a throwaway minor character, as he enforces the greater theme of the game itself, isolation. Springer is someone alien to you. You know what little you do know about him from different notes around the bunker. Aside from that, he's a complete stranger to you, but the closest thing you can get to normal in here. If you do understand German, you can make out what little information that he does provide about himself. Bitte, 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 meaning please, please. Nein, nein, Gott im Himmel. Nein, nein, Gott im Himmel. No, no. God in heaven. You can hear his cries of fear, and it's a bit more chilling now that you can understand him. Sicher hier, in meinem Käfig. Sicher hier, in meinem Käfig. Safer here, in my cage. He knows that he's in a safe position within his confines. And most notably, Eines Tages. One day, homeland spring, that he just wants to go home. Maybe he has memories about his homeland in the spring, or maybe he's going to be on leave during the spring. Either way, these lines greatly humanize him, and lets the player know, although not directly, that Springer is the closest thing Henri is going to get to human interaction within the bunker. Henri is no longer alone, however, he still is very much alone. Henry and Springer, in a sense, are a reflection of each other. If we choose to believe that Springer is who he says he is, as he says, Ich bin nur ein Soldat. Das ist alles. Ich bin nur ein Soldat. Das ist alles. That means he's just another soldier, but unfortunate enough to be captured and stuck within a rock and a hard place, just like Henry. Unlike Henry, he's a prisoner of war at the mercy of what the player chooses to do. Although they are enemies at war, they're nothing more than humans sharing a common enemy and a common goal down in the bunker. You both want to live, 
you both want to go home. You both have lives outside this bunker. So, what do you do? The game doesn't give you an option to escape with Springer. As you can imagine, it would be incredibly difficult to work together with someone who cannot properly communicate with you. Furthermore, you do not know whether he holds the same ideals as you, as he might want justice for what he has been through, being a prisoner of war. So, what would be the best course of action? There are two things you can do, and none of them are pretty for Springer. Do you let him perish, maybe at the hands of the monster, keeping yourself safe in the process? You can also do him a mercy and finish him off yourself, maybe through bullets or other options. Or do allow him to survive, defending him if the monster approaches and closing the cage once your business is done. I mean, you get a neat achievement, but he's still stuck in this hell. You may have options for escape, but he doesn't. If you do allow him to live, his fate is unknown. He may die from dehydration, hunger, or the beast finally getting his hands on him. Alternatively, he could be freed, either through German forces or French soldiers, if they do find the bunker. However, that's more on the optimistic side of things. Ultimately, his fate is in Henri's hands, and consequently, in the players. So, let me ask you, would you save him? <laughs>